So, I, you know, some of you may be here for the opportunity to view uh, a truly unique Japanese uh, cinematic masterpiece, or perhaps to see what Benicio del Toro has to say about it. But the occasion of this evening is actually a celebration of the life and work of Kaneto Shindo, a remarkable, if often underappreciated Japanese film director whose film career spanned most of Japan's uh, cinematic history. And I'm wondering what about the silence of the film speaks to you most? said that this movie for him was an experiment. He wanted to prove something in cinema, that um, image, images and sound can tell a story. And um, there is something about that that uh, I'm in the movie work. I, I make movies as an actor, and you know, I dwell in writing stuff, and eventually I would like to get behind the camera and tell a story. So there's something about that that moves me, uh, how you can tell a story and how, how you don't need to indicate all the time. And I thought the film, you know, you know, took it out of the park, you know, it was just this film for me. But um, of course the um, island was uninhabited at the time, but the director encountered this old man who um, after World War II um, had become quite sick of the world and decided to live there on his own. その人はヤギとアヒルとウサギとかそういうものを持って自給自足をしようと思ってその島に渡ったんですけどもヤギは海を渡って逃げちゃってウサギも逃げたって言ってましたね。and the uh, old man told me that um, he had intended to survive on the island on his own and sustain himself by, and uh, he had a goat and a rabbit with him. But of course he told me, uh, he told the director that uh, the goat had, and the rabbit um, both escaped over the ocean and he was left alone. <laughs> <laughs> 